Here's a nice fact about cyclic groups. Every cyclic group is abelian, meaning that they are commutative. The order in which you carry out a cyclic group's operation does not matter. This is a pretty darn easy proof. Give it a try yourself. If you just remember what the form of an element of a cyclic group is, then take two arbitrary elements from a cyclic group, and you might find it pretty easy to show that they will commute, and thus it's abelian. Perhaps you need a refresher of what a cyclic group is. This is the definition, and I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson going over cyclic groups. Recall that a cyclic group is a group that consists entirely of the powers of some element A, and we would call A the generator of the group. So, if we want to show that a cyclic group is abelian, we need to take two arbitrary elements from the group and show that they commute. To take two arbitrary elements from a cyclic group, well, we could just take two arbitrary powers of the generator because everything in a cyclic group is a power of the generator. So we just say, let G be the cyclic group generated by A. So that means that G is made up of all integer powers of A. So then, to take two arbitrary elements from our cyclic group G, well, that's just taking two arbitrary powers of A from our cyclic group G. And then our goal to show that G is abelian, uh, we need to show that A to the N times a to the m equals a to the m on the left times a to the n on the right. And this is fairly straightforward, just using our exponent rules. a to the n times a to the m is a to the n plus m. That's how exponents work. But we know that addition is commutative. That's something we know. So n plus m is the same as m plus n, which is to say I can rewrite this as a to the m plus n. Certainly the order of addition doesn't matter. But then again, using our exponent rules, but in the opposite direction, a to the m plus n is the same as a to the m times a to the n. And remember, I'm saying times a to the m times a to the n, but the operation may not be multiplication. We don't know what the operation is. It doesn't matter. But we're done the proof. We've taken two arbitrary elements from an arbitrary cyclic group and shown that if you combine them in one way, that's equal to combining them the other way. Every cyclic group is abelian. Pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or video requests.